morning students. My name is Dr. T. Vamshi Prasad. I am working as a assistant professor in BYRT Narsapur, Department of Physics. Uh, today topic is in dielectrics. Last week we have discussed about the types of polarization, internal field of dielectric material. Now today lecture is classes mosotic relation, piezoelectricity and ferroelectrics. In the previous lecture we have seen about the uh, different types of polarization like electronic polarization, ionic polarization, orientation polarization and space charge polarization. We have calculated the total polarization is equal to the ionic plus electronic plus orientation plus space charge polarization. After that, we have derived the one mathematical expression for the internal field of dielectric material. Now today lecture is uh, based on the internal field of dielectric material, we have to derive the one more equation is Clausius mosotic relation. After that application point of view, we can check out the piezoelectricity. What is the importance of piezoelectricity in dielectric material? What is the ferroelectricity? And what is the pyroelectric materials in application point of view? Now we can see about the Clausius mosotic relation. The importance of Clausius mosotic relation is the inducive dipole momentum is directly proportional to the electric field. We have defined the, the mathematical equation as P is equal to alpha E. Alpha it is said to be polarizability E for electric field of intensity. Now you can see here alpha is called about the molecular polarizability. So it is the uh, tensor quantity of rank 2. So Clausius mosotti equation relates the dielectric constant that is the microscopic quantity to the polarizability that is microscopic quantity. Here the interaction of electrical energy with matter is determined by the electromagnetic properties of the material. On a microscopic scale under steady state condition these properties are conventionally described by the permittivity and permeability of the material. Permittivity is related to the dielectric constant that is the microscopic quantity. One more is polarizability that is for the microscopic quantity. Now you can see here polarization can be defined as the number of dipoles per unit volume. Then the above equation can be written as P is equal to small n into P. You can written as P. That means inducer dipole momentum P is equal to alpha e in that mathematical expression term. So here, what is any number of dipoles per unit value? So polarization is equal to dipole movement per unit value. So in this uh, uh, phenomena, Clausius mosotti uh, relation mainly explain about the, the behavior of the dielectric constant to the polarizability. Coming to the next slide, let us consider the elemental dielectric having the cubic structure. In this one, there are no ions and no permanent dipoles in this material. According to the polarizability concept, the ionic polarizability and orientation polarizability are zero. So that the polarizability can is equal to alpha is equal to, you can see here ionic polarizability, orientation polarizability and space charge polarization is equal to zero. So that the total polarizability alpha is equal to uh, electronic polarizability plus ionic polarizability plus orientation polarizability plus space charge polarization. So the space charge polarization is very small compared to the other types of polarization so that the space charge polarization can be neglected here. So that the polarization vector can be defined as capital P is equal to N into mu. What is N here? Total number of dipoles in the material. What is mu? Mu it is said to be inducer dipole movement. Now you can see in the mathematical expression point of view, dipole momentum mu is equal to alpha e. Alpha is said to be polarizability e for electric field of intensity. Now you can see here internal field or Lorentz field can be written in the in terms of mathematical expression e i is equal to e plus p by 3 epsilon naught. Already we have derived the, this equation in the previous lecture so that Alpha E is said to be electronic polarizability. Therefore, the total polarization P is equal to in the mathematical expression term N into alpha suffix E into E suffix I. Alpha E is said to be electronic polarizability. Now we can substitute here EA value in this equation. We can write the mathematical expression point of view. 
P is equal to n alpha e into e plus P by 3 epsilon naught. So we can multiply with this equation, we will get the this step. P is equal to n alpha e into capital E plus n alpha e into P by 3 epsilon naught. Okay. Now coming to the uh, next slide, we can simplify this equation as you can see here step by step. Uh, we can multiply with this equation. After that, rearrange the terms. You can see this equation P minus n alpha e into P by 3 epsilon naught is equal to n alpha e into capital E. We take P as common. We can write in this way is equal to n alpha e. Now you can see uh, uh, n alpha e divided by 3 epsilon naught take P as common, we will get this equation. Finally, we can write this equation in the main equation as capital P is equal to n alpha e divided by 1 minus n alpha e divided 3 epsilon naught. So, this is the one of the important for the classius mosotti relation in terms of polarization. Already we know that the polarization measures the additional flux density compared to the free space of the material. So, that the total polarization P is equal to electric field intensity into dielectric constant into relative dielectric constant minus 1. This is the one of the equation for the dielectric material. So, take these two equations. You can see here equation number 1 and equation number 2. Substitute equation 2 in equation 1. We will get about substitute the P value here. You can see the equation we can write in this way. So, that rearrange the term. You can see here 1 minus n alpha E divided by 3 epsilon naught is equal to uh, n alpha e divided by e epsilon naught into e r minus 1. Okay. So, that in this equation e e gets cancelled. You can see here capital E, capital E gets cancelled here. Okay. So, coming to the next, uh, next equation, you can see here. So, we can write finally this equation as related to the uh, constant capital N and alpha E parameter in this equation. 1 is equal to N alpha E divided by 3 epsilon naught plus N alpha E divided by dielectric constant into relative dielectric constant minus 1. So, we can see take the uh, LCM of this equation. You can see here 1 is equal to N alpha E divided by 3 epsilon naught. You can uh, take the LCM, rearrange the terms. Finally, we will add, we will get about the dielectric constant that is epsilon naught minus 1 divided by epsilon naught plus 2 is equal to capital N into alpha E divided by 3 epsilon naught. So, this is the uh, required expression for the classius Musotti relation. So, what is here capital N? Capital N is the number of molecule per unit volume. So, this is the important equation related to the Class E S Mosotti relation. Okay, coming to the uh, previous, you can see here dielectric constant. So this is this equation explain mainly about the microscopic quantity to the microscopic quantity. That means uh, relate to dielectric constant to the polarizability that is alpha e. See, this is the dielectric constant. This is the polarizability. Which type of polarizability means electronic polarizability. Capital N is equal to number of molecule per unit volume. Epsilon naught is dielectric constant. You can say it is related to dialectic constant. So, this is the classius Mosotti equation of relation. After that, what is the consequences of classius Mosotti relation? According to the electromagnetic theory, the refractive index of a transparent dielectric material can be expressed as the square root of the dielectric constant. Now, you can see uh, based on this uh, sentence, we have to write dielectric constant is equal to square root of refractive index or uh, mu square is equal to dielectric constant. What is our classius Mosotti relation? The classius Mosotti relation is epsilon minus 1 divided by relative dielectric constant plus 2 is equal to n alpha divided by 3 epsilon naught. Okay, this is the uh, class of Mosotti relation. So, we have to substitute here mu square. We have to write here mu square minus 1 divided by mu square plus 2 is equal to n alpha divided by 
3 epsilon naught. That means the refractive index of a transparent dielectric material can be expressed as square root of the, you can see here, square root of the dielectric constant. So, for most of the gases and liquids, the polarizability is very small. Therefore, this equation, that means right hand side part and alpha E divided by 3 epsilon is less than 1. Therefore, the classiest Mosotti relation is valid for such gases and liquid. However, the case of few crystalline solids, the parameter n alpha E divided by 3 epsilon is tending towards 1. In this situation, the dielectric constant value tending towards infinity. Such dielectrics are known as ferroelectrics and it exhibits the property of spontaneous polarization that is analogous to the ferromagnetic material. That's why here on a microscopic scale under the steady state condition, this parameter, one parameter for dielectric constant, one more parameter for permeability. These parameters are conventionally described by the permittivity and permeability of the material. Permittivity is belongs to the dielectric material. Permittivity, permeability is belongs to the magnetic material. That's why here such dielectrics are known as ferroelectrics and it exhibits the property of spontaneous polarization analogous to the ferromagnetic material. Okay. This is about the classes Mosotti relation for the dielectric material. After that, what is the importance of piezoelectricity? Okay. Piezoelectricity is nothing but it is a energy device. Okay. Uh, you, you can say it is the energy converter. That means it will convert one form of energy to the another form. Like electrical energy is converting into mechanical energy or mechanical energy is converting into the electrical energy. Uh, nowadays, PJT is one of the sensor. In sensor application point of view, it is uh, applicable in inductive uh, sensors, capacitive sensors and resistivity sensor. So here, what is the relation behind the piezoelectricity and dielectric material is? This material have the property of becoming the electrically polarized when mechanical stress is applied. That means, when mechanical stress is applied, the material become easily polarized. So, the speciality of dielectric material is when such material is kept under the external electric field, first of all, the polarization will take place. So, here this property is known as piezoelectric effect. It is an inverse method. According to the inverse piezoelectric effect, when electrical stress or voltage is applied, the material become strained. According to the extra condition, stress divided by strain. Okay. So, here yeah, the stress is directly proportional to the applied electric field that is capital E. When piezoelectric crystals are subjected to compression or tension, opposite kinds of charges are developed at the opposite faces perpendicular to the direction of the applied force. This is the important phenomena for the piezoelectric metal. Here, such crystals here, piezoelectric crystals are subjected to compression or tension, opposite kinds of charges. Opposite kinds of charges mean, for example, uh, piezoelectric metal, the example is hexagonal. You can see here, it is the hexagonal crystal. It is having for three directions are there. One is the x direction, one is the y direction, one is the uh, z direction, x, y and z. So, one of the five, when piezoelectric is subject to compression or tension, opposite kinds of charges. So, here y is one of the opposite charge. Z is also one of the opposite charge. Opposite kinds of charges are developed at opposite faces that is perpendicular to the direction of the applied force. So, here the charges produced are proportional to the applied force. So, x is the applied force direction. That is the speciality of the piezoelectric material. Coming to the next slide. What is the piezoelectricity importance in mechanical direction? See here. For example, if you take for piezoelectric material, okay, you can see here, uh, upward side and downward side, we are applying about the stress. Okay, so what happens here? The voltage is developed in the other kind direction. Okay, see, this is the one of the piezoelectricity material that is said to be transmitter or energy converter. Coming to the uh, one more diagram, you can see here, this is about the body. 
in the gel we have to apply the gel we have to see here piezoelectric crystal is placed here we can observe here damping media that is connected to lead whenever the pzt that mean our hartebeeld pulse or 2d echo meter we have to apply about the transmitter type of elements here whenever the pzt insert the touches the body we have to apply here gel so what is the importance of in this method is it is the testing method okay testing method means it is the one of the ultra transmitter method we can say it is the non destructive test you can see here usually in ultrasonic transmitter that is medical ultrasonic imaging that is means mri magnetic resonance image and also we have to check about the 2d echo our heart beat pulse see here it is applicable for non destructive test in construction what is the importance of a non destructive testing means it is a testing method or evaluation performed on any type of object without changing or altering the on object to determine about the the object to determine about the non destructive terms in the material so the main object of ndt is whether the material is defective component or not so based on transmitter that is said to be energy divided or energy converter it is applicable for piezoelectric microphone we can see the sound sensor sensor it is one of the advanced technique with the sound sensor sound sensor so here one of the application is sound wave band the pressure one more is create about the changing voltage like that application point of view we have the many types of piezoelectrics are there capacitive inductors and resistive thermistor lvdt linear variable differential transmitter transformer this is all the important actor for the pzt material now can see one of the application the process of creating electric polarization by mechanical stress is called about the piezoelectric effect so this process is used in conversion of mechanical energy into electrical energy and also the electrical energy into the mechanical energy it is one type of transmitter or energy converter or energy device according to the inverse piezoelectric effect when an electrical stress is applied the material become strained that is about the main aspect for the inverse piezoelectric effect this strain is directly proportional to the applied field so here the perfect examples of piezoelectricity is quartz crystal that is for hexagonal one more is rock salt so here piezoelectric materials of piezoelectric semiconductor such as gallium uh see a ga or zinc oxide it is said to be cadmium semiconductor or finding about the application in ultrasonic amplifier it is one of the aspect for the uh, ultrasonic amplifier why why uh, the term is said to be amplifier means you can see about ultrasonic ultrasonic is the greater than 200 kilohertz the frequency it is said to be about 200 kilohertz it is said to be ultrasonic phenomena less than 200 it is said to be infrasonic ultrasonic it is the especially in ndt method we have to see about the ultrasonic testing method okay so many applications are there in piezoelectric based on the ndt application okay uh, coming to the inverse piezoelectric effect you can see here we have taken taken the one pj pjt sample okay one mechanical stress is applied if here if the voltage applied voltage have the same polarity than the material expands so we have to see about the what is the about the voltage value if the applied voltage has opposite opposite polarity then the metal become contracts you can see here it is said to be contract so here if the piezoelectric metal is exposed to the electric field that is perfectly voltaged it consequently lends or shorten proportion to the voltage that is the best example for the crystal oscillator and crystal speakers record player pickup and actuator okay so this is about the piezoelectric method what are the application point of view you can see a sonic and data sonic application infrasonic with ultrasonic time domain reflectometer see a time domain reflectometer that is said to be 2d echo meter material testing to det to detect the flaws inside cast metal and stone object so it is said to be one of the perfect ndt method it is a testing method right so measure the elasticity or uh, viscosity in gases and liquids it is also applicable for the liquid samples and gaseous sample used in compact sensitive microphone 
like guitar pickups and loud speaker you can see this is about the uh, transmitter that is said to be pjt see here in the submarine also we have to check what is the depth of the band the material you can set up with it is cd scan okay the material is completely scanned by the ndt measurement that is said to be ultrasound any defects will be there you can easily identify in the NDT that is said to be flaws. You can see material testing to detect the flaws inside cast materials and stone objects also. See here inverse piezoelectric application point of view. One of the application is pressure application. Transient pressure measurement to study the explosive internal combustion engines like the knock sensors and any other vibration, accelerations and impact. So here piezoelectric micro balances are used for very sensitive chemical and biological sensor. You can see this is about the perfect diagram for the sensitive chemical and biological sensor. One of the parameter is transmitter. Transmitter is also for the one of the PJ, PJT, piezoelectricity. So transmitters are used in electronic dump pads to detect the impact of the drumsticks. One of the application, what about the drumstick, electronic dump. Next one is energy harvesting from impact on the ground. Next one is Atomic force and scanning tunneling microscopy. This is said to be SEM scanning tunneling microscopy for atomic force. Next one is electric igniters and cigarette lighter. Okay, this is about the diagram for the electric igniters and cigarette lighter. So many applications are there about the piezoelectric material in you know, uh, house applications. Okay, coming to the next slide, inverse piezoelectric application. Consumer electronic application like LCR, inductive capacitor and resistor. It is used for the quartz crystal, crystal resonator like frequency stabilizer for oscillation in all computers. Okay, many kinds of transistors are there, especially for if you take for thermistor. Thermistor is applicable for the temperature sensitive control device. Okay. For example, if you take for LVDT, linear variable differential transmitter, it is applicable for the displacement. You have to check about the displacement of the sensor. Here also LCR to analyze what is about the resonant frequency. It is said to be resonator, quartz crystal. The specialty of inverse piezoelectric material is it is the metal become quartz, that is one type of the crystal. Resonator, quartz crystal resonator that frequency stabilizer for oscillators in all computers. Next one is phonograph pickups. One more application is accelerometer. You can see here, uh, this is said to be phonograph. Latest version is iPhone. Accelerometer in piezoelectric accelerometer is a mass is attached to a spring. According to simple harmonic motion, we have to check about the mass balancing spring system. Mass is either attached to a spring that is attached to, to the piezoelectric crystal. When subjected to vibration, the mass compresses and stretches the piezoelectric crystal. That is perfect example for our iPhone. Our mobile phone is also the one of the piezo T sensor. Okay, like that it will act like transmitter as well as receiver. Here also PJT is one of the component. It acts like receiver as well as transmitter. Okay. Coming to the next slide. What is the importance of ferroelectricity in dielectric material? The main application of ferroelectricity is all ferroelectric material exhibit the piezoelectric effect because lack of symmetry. Special class of piezoelectric material means it exhibits the certain other characteristics also. What are that other other characteristics mean? It exhibits the spontaneous polarization. Okay, this is about the main point for the ferroelectricity. In ferroelectricity, exhibit the spontaneous polarization that is polarization in the absence of electric field. So here, ferroelectrics are the electronic analog of the ferromagnet, which may display about the permanent magnetic behavior. The metal become permanent magnetic behavior. So the scientist name is said to be Varasek, discovered the first ferroelectric material, namely rock salt. It is the first experimental point of view and verified about the rock salt it is the ferroelectric metal so in ferroelectric the polarization can be changed and even reversed by applying the 
external electric field the main point of ferroelectricity means the metal exhibit the spontaneous polarization the importance of dielectric metal is when dielectric metal is subjected to external electric field first the polarization will takes place so in ferro electricity it exhibit the property of spontaneous polarization that means polarization in the absence of electric field so what are the properties related to ferro electricity metal is spontaneous polarization in the absence of applied electric field in the absence right next we extremely high dielectric constant the metal having of the high dielectric constant the dielectric permittivity value is nearly 500 to 15000 it is having so strong non linear dielectric response to the applied electric field it is having for high strength response to applied electric field that become it converts into the piezo electricity strong variation in polarization with temperature difference about the pyro electricity like that piezo electricity ferro electricity after that pyro electricity pyro electricity is also for the one of the application for the dielectric material okay you can see what is the important for uh, pyro electricity ferro electric material so here yeah, what is the important for the polarization versus electric field if you apply the small electric field such that it is not able to fix the bromine alignment then the metal will have a normal dielectric constant that means the metal behaves of a normal dielectric metal so that the polarization is directly proportional to the electric field if the p is increases electric field is also increases if p is decreases the electric field is also for decreases if as e is increased we start to flip the domain and rapidly increase about the p here that means all the domains the alignment will be sometimes it is parallel sometimes it is anti parallel depends upon the material if electric field of intensity is e is increased we start to flip the domain and rapidly increase about the p when all domains are switched when all domains are switched that means we reach about the saturation position so that what happens if the electric field is now removed once the electric field is removed what happens the metal become spontaneously polarized that is about the important aspect for the ferroelectric metal we can see about the electric field versus polarization we can see here the metals are easily magnetized and demagnetized so here first the field started at a to b next b to c x c to d it is said to be perfect matching for one of the curve you can see this is said to be one perfect curve for the passive direction one more direction is for negative side you can see here this is for reversal manner plus c e c is nothing but cohesive force okay minus e sub x it is said to be cohesive force here the domains will be changed from one orientation to the another orientation that mean if in the absence of electric field the metal is easily polarized if you apply the external electric field the domains will be changed from one orientation to another orientation it is said to be okay it is said to be one curve that curve name is said to be isthesis curve it is said to be isthesis curve see here isthesis curve what is the importance of isthesis curve mean it represents about the lack of behind about the electric field versus polarization that means loss of energy isthesis curve represents about the loss of energy we can see here for part at the for position a n number of dipoles are there at the position b only one dipole momentum is placed that means it is having for very strong orientation same diagram you can see here at the point g it is having for downward direction okay that mean the orientation of the structure will be changed from one position to the another position it is it depends upon the by rotation by rotation of the domain wall movement next one is by changing the orientation so that is the important aspect for the spontaneous polarization okay electric field versus polarization the important uh, definition for the polarization is we are every time we are seeing about the dipole moment per unit value okay here what is the about the structure the suction will be changed or not that means the domain field that is the orientation it is 
for example if you take for ferromagnetic material the material can be easily magnetized and demagnetized magnetized means it is having for strong orientation if it is non magnetized means the material having for non magnetic material that's why it is said to be soft magnetic material and hard magnetic material so the ferro electricity mainly belongs to the electric field of intensity same topic if in magnetic material we have to think about the ferromagnetic behavior that is related to the applied magnetic field here here electric field is important okay now can see what is the inverse piezoelectric effect for the ferroelectricity the value at zero field it is termed as remnant polarization the value of p extrapolated back from the saturation limit is said to be spontaneous polarization so here reversal of the field will eventually remove all the polarization that is said to be coercive field after that if you increase the further reversal field see here, further increasing the reverse field will completely reverse the polarization that is said to be hysteresis loop is formed okay this is said to be loop the loop is behind about the smaller loop is will be there and larger loop will be there that why it is said to be soft magnetic material and hard magnetic material okay soft magnetic material coarse will become very smaller one right? if you take for hard magnetic material the coarse will become very large see here coarse field reversal of the field will eventually remove all polarization the field is required to coarse field it is said to be hysteresis loop hysteresis loop is said to be loss of energy okay coming to the next slide for related to the phase transition you can see about this is about the one curve to the another curve t c it is said to be critical temperature below critical temperature what is the material behavior above the critical temperature what is the behavior this is the uh, relationship between the polarization versus electric field you can see here i am taking about the ferro electric and para electric so what is the difference between the ferro electric and para electric is in ferro electric material that the relation is t less than tc that means the absolute temperature value is less than the critical temperature the material exhibits about the ferro electric behavior the temperature value less than 120 degree centigrade the same above 120 degree centigrade the material become para electric that means the absolute temperature value that is greater than the critical temperature which is tc is also said to be transition temperature below tc t less than tc it is said to be ferro electric metal above dc it is said to be para magnetic metal you can observe here the curve will be there here this is said to be hysteresis loss that said to be hysteresis curve this curve is said to be here only one line will be there that mean the metal is the metal become changed here which metal to which metal below temperature above temperature above temperature greater than 120 degree centigrade the charges must be coincide below temperature the charges does not coincide that why it is said to be ferro electric and para electric that is phase transition is important here below critical temperature above critical temperature that why it is said to be dielectric coefficient versus temperature below critical temperature come to the next slide pyro electric metal this is also the related to the ferro electric metal and piezo electric metal a special class of material which is of which is subset of piezo electric metal that is said to be pjt are polarized spontaneously but they do not respond to an electric field like ferro electronic that is required very high electric field or orienting about the dipole in our case we are apply every time we are applying about the very small electric field once if you apply the very high electric field the orientation of the dipoles are completely changed the field required is so high that the metal reaches about the electric breakdown before it can be before it can get polarized suddenly if you apply the very strong electric field the metal reaches about the breakdown suddenly breakdown that it is said to be electric breakdown before it can get polarized but when the temperature is changed the polarization of crystal completely changes the best example is lithium niobium oxide see it depends upon the temperature okay the temperature is also important parameter for the 
material here also. Coming to the next slide, you can see a lithium lead titanium oxide temperature versus spontaneous polarization. You can see about the, the curve is totally decreasing at critical temperature 490 degrees centigrade. So here what happens means the spontaneous polarization is strongly dependent on the temperature. If you take for uh, orientation polarization and electronic polarization, ionic polarization, the total polarization is mainly depends upon the temperature. Sometimes it is dependent, sometimes it is independent. So here the spontaneous polarization is strongly depends upon the temperature. If the temperature is increases, the medium is completely changes. If the temperature is less than QD temperature, it is said to be ferroelectric. Above temperature is for paramagnetic medium. So here it disappears completely at the phase transformation of temperature at critical temperature. The variation in the polarization with respect to the temperature is called about the pyroelectric effect. So pyroelectric effect mainly depends upon the temperature. That is spontaneous polarization strongly dependent on temperature. After that, the variation of polarization with respect to temperature is called about the pyroelectric effect. In the mathematical expression point of view, you can see here P is equal to dou d by dou t is equal to dou P S by dou t. E into dou s naught naught by dou t. In this equation, we have to see about the P s for spontaneous polarization. This is said to be dielectric constant. E for electric field with respect to temperature variation. Okay, this is the one of the mathematical expression for the pyroelectricity material. Coming to the next slide, what are the application for ferroelectric material? It is applicable for non-volatile random access memory and dynamic capacitor and also for tunable microwave devices. See a perfect example for microwave devices. So dielectrics are applicable for microwave devices. Like that, one of the application is pyroelectric detector trend sensor. Okay, in a in a in four wheeler, we have to see about the uh, sensor application. Like that, optical wave weight. Okay, for optical purpose, we have to see about the optical wave weight. So application point of view, ferroelectric is applicable for mechanical electrical and thermal point of view it is applicable for capacitors micro devices and detectors and optical wave so here what is the final conclusion for the ferroelectric pjt and ferroelectric is all ferroelectric metals are polarized or ferroelectric metals are piezoelectric but all piezoelectric metals are not ferroelectric here, piezoelectric, pyroelectric, and ferroelectric metal. So here, ferroelectrics are spontaneously polarized, but also piezoelectric in that the polarization changes under the influence of stress. The main aspects of PJT is it is the energy transmitter or energy divide, so that it will convert one form of energy to another form. So here, what is the body? The polarization changes under the influence of stress. When the stress is applied, the opposite kinds of charges are changed. That means stress is applied in alternate opposite direction voltage is produced. This is because while all ferroelectrics are piezoelectric, not all piezoelectrics are ferroelectric. That is about the main application point of view. Okay, how to see about the piezoelectric, pyroelectric, and ferroelectric material. In the magnetic material, we have to see about the what is the temperature dependent of the diamagnetic material, paramagnetic material, the ferromagnetic material, uh, ferrimagnetic material and antiferromagnetic material. We can see about the classification of mag magnetic material. We can check out about the what is the relationship between the susceptibility and purity temperature with respect to the temperature and also for critical temperature. The material having the Permanent dipole moments are not. We have to think about the magnetic material. Okay, so this is about the important application for the PJT, uh, ferroelectricity, and pyroelectricity. This is about the application point of view for dielectric material. Okay, thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.